Welcome to Income for Life Planning, a weekly radio program dedicated to providing your retirement with an income for life. Learn how to never run out of money, how to prepare for and be protected from long-term care, and how to create a retirement beyond your expectations. With your host, Steph Lasso, the financial practitioner who makes house calls. Steph's practice is grounded in your financial protection against market loss while providing you with a lifetime guaranteed, predictable, and sustainable income no matter how long you live. Steph Lasso has been helping people and businesses with their financial security needs for over 40 years and has been selected as one of the top senior advisors of the year. And he's also a member of the National Ethics Bureau. Founder of IncomeForLifePlanning.com and your host of Income for Life Planning Radio, here's Steph Lasso. And here he is. This is Steph, your host, bringing you another episode of Income for Life Planning, Planning Your Financial Future. And we're going to talk a lot uh, today, or talk a bit at least about planning, because anything worthwhile occurs and happens with a plan. Absolutely. Absolutely. And good morning to that other voice you heard. That is Lou, my co-host, who's been with me for many, many years. From my friend and mentor, uh, Bill Belichick. Yes. Uh, Him quoting the out of war, every battle is won before it's fought. There you you know, how appropriate is that, Lou? That's That's, pretty. That's the importance of planning. That is pretty profound. And let me add something else to that. It's always too early until it's too late. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) I thought you might. That's worthy of a chuckle, and it's also worthy of contemplating. Yeah. It's always too early until it's too late. Right. This is, and speaking of years, your uh, host here has been um, assisting for over four decades individuals with planning making sure for many of those uh, decades that uh, people don't run out of income, don't lose their assets. And uh, in a moment, we'll talk about uh, not only preservation of those assets, but over the past couple of years, having earned nearly 25% over a two-year period. See, you stick with it, you'll get pretty good at it. I I think so. Can I ask you a question based on that, though? It depends. We're on air, so go right ahead. Uh, So you've been doing this for 45 years. Yes. And one of the things that I think I know about uh, these programs, the annuities Mm -hmm. in these programs, is that unlike other um, financial planning tools— I'm listening intently. They have the ability to adapt to the economy. And what what has brought them into the forefront in this economy is the low-yield environment and the volatility of the markets. That's right. And so these uh, programs get to adapt to the— very able to adapt to these types of situations. Your impressions over 45 years of watching these financial programs and how they've evolved to meet the economy. Uh, my impression? Uh, asking yeah. me what, well, it, it's, it's interesting because uh, I've spoken before on air uh, particularly about, and, and I'm so proud and I'm utilizing it myself and many of my clients of late because it's relatively recent, the Schiller Index. Mm-hmm. That's evolved. Yeah. We never had the opportunities, even up to a few years, we've had the opportunities to preserve principle and, and get growth linked to the market because we need the market for growth. Right. We'll be discussing that during the program. But the mechanism of that linking has evolved. Uh, the, the, yeah. Exactly. And the issue before getting, hold that thought, mm-hmm. but the issue with the market has always been, particularly when you don't have enough time on your side, i.e. approaching or in retirement, the risk, the volatility, and the potential of loss. Right. And loss at a wrong time. It's well, whenever the, when is a good time for loss? Yeah, there exactly. really isn't. But particularly when you're in retirement and require income. When there's no income coming in because you're retired, that loss is devastating because you lose the uh, immediate value and you lose the growth potential oh, of a- that value. Absolutely. Yeah. But what, what was your uh, what you brought up just a moment ago? and uh, um, About the mechanism of the linking mechanism, to the market. The mechanisms have changed and evolved. Yeah. So we have, we continue. Because the market changes. Of course it yeah. does. But, but here we are with, with so many more opportunities that have evolved. And speaking of that, you mentioned the fixed, the fixed indexed annuities. 
I, w I wasn't going to bring it up on today's program, but since it's come forward, I just read another article about how many more tens of billions of, billions of dollars more are being contributed right. and deposited into these vehicles well over on, on, during the last couple of quarters, well over and above even last year, and last year set records. And why is that, Lou? People are seeking uh, security. They're seeking peace right. of mind. They want to know that growth is still required. And we'll get to that, and we'll talk about risk today. But the most important consideration is people, people need income. And they want to know that it's going to be there, not guessing, right. but with guarantees. Well, this is what I was going to ask. Isn't one of the biggest evolutions in the economy that has brought these strategies into the forefront mm -hmm. has been the death of the pension. Oh, well, absolutely. Because the, everyone sought out pensions because what that was, that was a check that you were guaranteed for as long as you lived. Well, presumably. Presumably. Even, even. Well, many, that was the premise at the time. There's another, it's, you know, it, it, I, I'm sure our listeners know about the, uh, the Pension Guarantee Corp. And by the way, do you know how that's funded? The government's Pension Guarantee Corp? That that when a when a, a company pension goes bust, mm -hmm. if you will, yeah. the pension gu guarantee uh, a, a fair amount of it is is funded by insurance company premiums. Mm. How about that? That's how Wait they. Minute, that's an insurance company again. Yeah. Who else is providing all of these guarantees? That's where the government goes for sta stability and the, and the ability to cover these yes. pensions. Yes, and, 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 and... But people are seeking those checks. We love social... We adore Social Security because it's a check for the rest of your life. It's a measure of security. Not enough, but a measure of security. That's right. Pensions. People sought out pensions. They look for pensions, but they've gone away because they're difficult to maintain for companies. Well, th again... How but many, these I, programs yes. represent represent and uh, keep alive the possibility of that type of income that you know is going to be there for as long as you live. A absolutely. I was just reading before, not just before coming on air, about a major, major, oh, Sears. I was trying to think of, I was going right. to cover myself by <laughs> saying a major company. Sears, Kenmore. Sears has been selling, sold off its um, uh, craftsman tools. Uh, did they, yeah. Yeah, th th that's no longer part of the Sears family. Yeah. The name remains. Right. And they're thinking of doing that for Kenmore. Well, Sears has We're, we're likely not yeah. going to see Sears, right. uh, you know, at, yeah. at some point. Um, I still think back, and when our children were growing, the Christmas catalog sure. that would be, you know, looked, people would look forward to it. And decades before that, you could you could purchase a home that you could put together out of Sears. Sears was a monolith. It, it was, a, a it was the yeah. Retail yeah. center. Well, getting speaking of evolving and where we are today, um, there's an issue with trying to sell the Kenmore division. I read it very quickly, simply because of it's about a one and a half billion dollar underfunding of the Sears. Yeah. pension for all of its retirees right. and their the obligations that are the financial obligations. Right. You know, Lou? And we've I, seen a bunch of pensions where they've cut back, they've changed the terms because for individual companies, that's right. pensions are hard, pension funds are hard to, to fulfill the promises that they made. Uh, absolutely. And, and some are, I guess, a relief to, to a degree with the market being as high as it is. But wait till the market right. corrects and the impact it's going to have. So what we do, I, if you will, is make sure that if you don't have a pension, or even if you do and it's been either cut or lowered, or still not enough. Oh, what if you've been offered that lump sum? Or which the lump a lot sum, of pension recipients have been offered that's because right. uh, corporations are trying to get people off their pension payrolls. That's right, and and in many, not all, but in many or most of those instances, when I've been called by a listener who says I'm about to retire and I have an option of a pension from the company or taking a lump sum and rolling it over and putting it into an IRA, we can often, Lou, provide more guaranteed lifetime income and, and, and growth than the pension than, offer? than the pension offers. Yeah. And here's the other benefit. The individual is still, still controlling that, right. that amount. 
that that account, if you will. And that's a very. I think that you can check my phrasing if you, if you think you disagree with me. Sure. That can be a very dangerous offer for people who are offered the lump sum because it's you're going to get a good amount of money and it's competitive. It's it's a competitive mm -hmm. option with taking the pension. That's right. But if you don't manage it correctly. Well, if, absolutely. Yeah. It may sound wonderful to end up with whatever the lump sum is going to be, and these often are, you know, six-figure numbers. Right. Quite frankly, right. with you know, a two starting out with a two or three or even greater or whatever the number happens to be. But as you so often say, and I quoted you this week actually about the you know, we talk about the more people die coming down Everest than going up yeah, Everest. Of course, it, it's about it's that in retirement, most of the problems occur in the distribution phase. We don't pay enough attention to the distribution phase, so you get that lump sum, and if you don't manage it correctly and you don't distribute it wisely and properly with good planning that's going to help maximize that lump sum, you can run yourself into some trouble. Well, let me... Tax-wise, there's a hundred ways you can run yourself into trouble. I don't know if this fits. I was going to bring it out at some point, but maybe it does. If you were in the dark mm -hmm. and someone handed you a, fla a flashlight, you'd take it. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Sure. Well, common sense. Most people about what we've been just discussing right. and so many other matters uh, concerning retirement financially are in the dark, Lou. And many people will not take the initiative to seek some assistance. And by the way, I'm your financial practitioner who makes house calls with no charge yeah. for those house, house calls. House calls with no charge. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. think about that. Yeah. And and offering the alternatives so that we can look at where you are, to put it all very simply, where you are, what you have, mm -hmm. what you need or want to accomplish, right. and we can do some planning that is non-obligatory. Right. Did I make that clear enough? Sure. But with In your home, if you like, no that's charge. Right. That's right. No, no obligation. Fee. In fact, how can people reach out to me? Oh, we're going to play that. Okay, hang Why on. Why not? If you're impressed by what Steph is telling you, wait until you see what he can do for you in person. Get started today with your Income for Life planning. Call Steph Lesu toll-free, 877-720-9500, or visit IncomeForLifePlanning.com. That's 877-720-9500, or visit IncomeForLifePlanning.com. My uh, next comment is going to be, presented to you by a large company <laughs> really? and I won't bring forward that company okay. yep. and it was an advertisement and I'm always reading each week uh, articles and I'm, I'm there are so many websites that contact me with pertinent material each week but nonetheless and it, here was it uh, it was offering a free retirement planner and big bold letters when can I retire comfortably Hmm. That was the uh, the the advertisement of the beginning of it, and obviously it's it's one of the and then it offered a number the advertisement offered a number of very concerned or concerted questions, and here's here are the questions that people ask themselves, Lou, when can I retire comfortably? Will I have enough money? What if I retire earlier? Mm -hmm. What impact will Social Security have? And of course, Social Security. Do I wait? Uh, do I do I get right. it immediately? Um, how much money will I have to spend each month? Well, what if something unexpected happens? Can I afford that splurge? Yeah. You know, add, add your own questions. We have grandchildren. Will I be able to to do things for the grandchildren and still have enough to? Pay the car insurance and 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 purchase the food each week. You know, again, you know what you need to answer almost any of those questions. Excuse me, Lou. You know what you need to answer almost any of those questions. You need to know how much money you're going to have. Well, of course. And you need to know how much income you can generate. That, with it. Th that's exactly right. You need to make sure that you're going to have, as you were accustomed to that guaranteed paycheck. Mm -hmm. During your working years, your professional years, your labor years, what, whatever you did, you still must have that guaranteed, never diminishing, and possibly increasing paycheck in retirement. Right. 
and to do the things maybe the splurge, you'd like to have the occasional play check as well. Sure. And we can, and with it all comes down to doing the right planning. But you ask these questions of the traditional planner, and it's like, well, uh, 10 years from now, what's my financial picture? And they can't tell you how much money you're going to have. Not definitively. They can't, they can't tell you what the market, where the market's going to be. Uh, but And they can tell you whatever that number is, you might be able to take 3 or 4% out of it. That's uh, right. So how do you plan based on... Whatever that number is, you can take 3 to 4% out of it. And whatever that number is, th that you don't know what it's going to be. Right. So what if you could take not 3 or 4% out, but what if you could take perhaps 5%, maybe a little bit more depending upon your age? And you're going to be assured of that amount, if not more, for the rest of your life. For the rest of Never less. That's correct. Yeah. Regardless of what happens in North Korea, regardless of what happens uh, this... The trade in, wars. With the the trade wars. Regardless of... Of what comes out of before or after the November elections, which um, you know, there's so much, um, yeah. uh, un so much unknown in our political system. Turkey, the European Union, all these things. You want to, you want to depend on what goes on there. It, it's it's amazing, but yeah. all everything is impacting. What if you could not have to be concerned about all of those uh, mm -hmm. issues? And just know that the income is going to be there. No and your narrative what. is going to tell them 10 years from now you're going to be making at least this on, on a month, you know, monthly basis or your, your distribution basis. By the way, when you go back to 1929, you know the companies that didn't fold? Yeah, you annuity can guess. companies, yeah. yeah insurance, insurance companies. companies. Yeah. Those were the buildings left standing after the Great Depression. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe the dividends weren't as great, but... People had, the, whoever had in, involvement, the monies were preserved. Right. So we come forward And now. I like it. This is a good point to talk about the basis of this. And you don't have to get too far into it, but mm -hmm. I like this. I think this is an important part of it. Most of the other financial assets and plans that you might deal with on a traditional basis are based in the market. They're going to they're gonna be affected by the market. Sure. Annuities have reserves behind them they are not in the market then they're separate from the market so if there is a collapse if there's another 2008 if there's another 2000 they're protected from that because they are required by law to back that with funds very significant in yeah. fact often i'm asked about that and i have a very uh, very specific article that puts all of that in perspective mm -hmm. the the relative safety the security right. if you will and i I don't mean the uh, security in a very positive sense. You know, Lou, I've mentioned before uh, an, uh, several times, again, principally through the Schiller index of being able to get gains in accumulation uh, of a, a number of clients, particularly more recently because the Schiller index has been a, a more recent development. And by the way, the Schiller index is a development of Dr. Robert Schiller, one of a world-noted uh, e uh, economist. Right. Who Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize winner from 2013, specifically for his development of the Schiller Index. And using it as a means of growth and, um, and, and gain, the the first time I brought it forward, going back a few months ago, it was a, a, pro, a little over 24% gain for some clients without a risk to their principal right. uh, over the past nearly two years. Because that's the, bit, that's the baseline objection that you must run into on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got to take risk to get gains. And without can, risk, there are no gains. You're talking about That's the old paradigm. Right. The old paradigm. And now... Now, I just checked the account values, mm -hmm. which are soon to be locked in, never to be given, given up, if you will. And I know it sounds astounding. It is now because the market has been upticking. The returns are now 29.44%. Oh, without risk of loss. Without risk to the principal. Right. And... Very, and again, there's within each of these programs, there's a crediting period. So whatever gains have been made up to the end of each crediting period, right. once that crediting period 
finishes, if you will, whatever gains you made are now locked in. They're in the bank. They're in the bank, never yep. given back. So very soon, very, very soon, and the way there's a risk and volatility control within this special index, I'm going to have clients who will have locked in nearly 30 percent i know it sounds astounding, it astounding. and I, I i almost hesitated bringing it up over the airs the airwaves today but because why you get to the point where it sounds like it's too good to be true but why should i not right because i can show the actual statements without without names without yep. account numbers on them in terms of identifying the accounts but i can actually show and we have it you know i i used to say from many years ago if i can't prove it don't do it right well i can certainly prove that and and it does require some shouting and touting if you will why not because that's what's you know and and there might be some people who are saying i don't believe that right. or or how can that be but it is we talked about it a little. We've sp spoken of it in the past. We just spoke of it earlier in the program. We've had an evolution of strategies and programs to accommodate the needs of an aging, uh, a significantly right. aging population and tens of millions of of let alone people in retirement, people who are about to be retiring. And that's why this program is out there to let people know that there are strategies you don't have to follow the old paradigm quite frankly um, in in terms of uh, in in terms of uh, trying to get gains at the risk of loss right let's let's recap what go i ahead. think are three very important principles Please, that go you ahead. just talked about go right ahead. one nearly 30 percent in gains Correct. Right. That's without risk of loss to principal. That's correct. Zero risk of loss to principal. Positively, absolutely. So major gains with zero risk of loss. That's right. And on top of that, you're locking those gains in. There are people who are in the market now who have had a good five, six, seven year run, mm -hmm. and they're looking at you know they're looking at record highs, and their portfolio is doing really well. What they don't understand, I don't think, all the time, is that they can give twenty percent of that back tomorrow or greater. Or, great, or greater. You know the, that's theoretical. It's not. That's right. It's not really there because it could disappear this afternoon, or tomorrow. That's the nature of the market. So, nearly thirty percent gain, zero percent chance of loss. All these gains are periodically locked in. They're in the bank. You don't get. You don't ever give them back. No, you never give them back. Now. Let's assume you, you get that locked in, mm -hmm. and suddenly next year or the years going forward, or you know the market drops or it's right. flat, okay, you haven't given back your gains. Right. We're not going to earn anything because there's nothing uh, from which to earn. Right. But you've got everything locked in. But there's another feature as well that's, that's a bit of an optional feature. I'm, since we're discussing all of this, let me bring this forward. It's an income account guarantee. Income that, account guarantee. Let me tell you what that is. Mm. Without, you know, I know that, that this is only one of several sure. different options and benefits. That if the market doesn't perform, if there are no gains to get from, if you will, the economy, you can your account for income purposes will still be credited with depending on which strategy we use to put it very simply or which um, which program five to six percent compound interest per year in a flat or declining in market. a flat or declining market your account for future income will still be credited with so that's not a bad guaranteed return from which to take income yeah, if, like if the economy falls apart sounds like an inflation buster too well yeah. uh, in a way in a way yeah in a way but th but yeah i mean it, guaranteed th gains so so think about that yeah. and and there's even one program that will actually regardless of what happens in the market Whatever you whatever you you contribute, let's say a hundred thousand goes in, it's guaranteed regardless of what happens in the economy for income purposes. If you have a you know a time frame of waiting in ten years, whatever you put in, let's say you put in a hundred thousand, it will guarantee the program will be guaranteed to be worth two hundred thousand from which you can take income for the rest of your life. Wow. And that's not a 3% income stream. Right. Think about it. Yeah. You know, I, 
I, I went too far afield. I, I had no intention of mentioning all of this, but I, I guess you got me on a roll today, so to speak. Um, Again, we have new listeners all the time. And yes. You have to read them into. Uh, you have to read them into this because a lot of them they're hearing about these types of programs for the first time. That's correct. That all they've known is you know market and bonds. That's all they've known. The, the traditional. Yeah. But now we have what is strategies and programs that are be the new traditional, right. if you will, if I can add that term to more it. More and more, the mainstream economists are talking about at least having part of your. Uh, financial picture I was just with gonna, this guaranteed income. I was just going to go there. Yeah, I mean, this is, go, this the, is going the, mainstream. Absolutely. Yeah. Traditional stocks, stock and bond people are saying who who really are concerned for their clients are saying you need to have at least a portion of your assets in programs that provide guaranteed income. And quite frankly, those are provided and offered by insurance companies, yeah. uh, and, and and they are in the what's called the fixed annuity. I know only a couple of our stations break away. We're on for the full hour. So, and how long do we have before our next break? By the way, uh, we have uh, two fifteen. Oh, okay, it's still enough time. When when we come back after our next break, mm -hmm. uh, I want to talk about a. A, an, an additional immediate solution to fund long-term care. We've yeah. talked about it. We'll we'll have a recap of and and we'll have a recap of how you can take, as an example, a hundred thousand and turn it into three hundred and fifty thousand dollars overnight. By, and by uh, covering your long-term care costs, you're also protecting assets. Absolutely, yeah. and providing quality of care. Right. That's another yep. issue. Which, uh, which uh, you know, many people don't take into account. We'll also discuss. Okay, that the person doesn't need your contact information, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll also we'll discuss give that out. <laughs> the relativity of risk. Relativity of risk. And what? And and it, it it's an interesting article that I. It's just a couple of paragraphs, but it talks about risk and how people are taking risk when they don't want to and know they shouldn't be, but guess what? They're in retirement or approaching and saying, I don't have an alternative. Right. Lou, we've got the alternative programs. All right, tell people, give people contact Exactly, and they'll hear it again during the break. Stay with us because we'll be, we'll be right back. You want to reach out, it's 877-720-9500. 877-720-9500. Uh, 720-9500 and of course the website incomeforlifeplanning.com I don't I don't give that out enough Lou no? it's income f o r incomeforlifeplanning.com and you can download my book the swan portfolio there's no fee there's no cost for that it's a pamphlet read and um, we've had a number of people doing that each week and remember it's always too early until it's too late and we'll be right back Steph Lasso has been helping people and businesses with their financial security needs for over 40 years and has been selected as one of the top senior advisors of the year. Now's a great time to sit with Steph and create your personal income for life planning. Call Steph Lasso toll free 877-720-9500 or visit IncomeForLifePlanning.com. That's 877-720-9500 or visit IncomeForLifePlanning.com. Concerned about outliving your income? Concerned about the risk and volatility of the markets? Not sure what to do in order to protect yourself? Call 877-720-9500. That's 877-720-9500. Speak with staff about solutions, about planning your financial future. Call 877-720-9500. Call today. Let us help you plan your financial future. Warning, just a moment of your time with Steph LeSue on the radio can lead to a happy and sustainable retirement. This is Income for Life Planning with your host, Steph LeSue. And we are back. We uh, always appreciate your being with us. And remember, 
please, those of you who have concern, reach out to me. Uh, and again, the telephone number is 8, toll free, 877 720 We can't answer live often, so I think, Lou, people are accustomed to leaving a right. message sure. after a voice prompt. And uh, each week people are doing that, so I don't know why I have to couch that, but <laughs> I thought I would. And again, the, we the website, Income, it's all one word, Income for Life Planning dot com, F O R Income for Life Planning dot com, and there's my biography there. It's very open. It's uh, transparent, and and perhaps as importantly, the book, my book, the Swan Portfolio, which is an acronym for Sleeping Well at Night. Right. And again, think about it with the with the appropriate planning. And with the safety and security of, of income being able to be there and continuously generated or having the long-term care coverage to protect the assets, think about it. Wouldn't you likely sleep much better each evening without having the anxiety and the angst of, I don't know what's going to happen or uh, the market is going to, is poised to take a tumble? By the, go ahead, Lou. Can, can I, say? Let me talk about you. Earlier in the show, you talked about if someone were going to hand you a flashlight, would you take it? In, if you were in the dark. If you were in the dark. Right. And my only caution to that is what happens with people a lot is I think that they start to re plan for retirement, or maybe they're not. They've, they've done well in life, and they've accumulated some assets, and you know they're okay, but they don't, they're not necessarily completely financially savvy. So oftentimes they'll go around to parties or they'll go around to cookouts and they'll start talking to people about, well, what do you do? You mm -hmm. know, how you plan. And people have very strong opinions about all financial uh, methods and all approaches. I agree. And I think it's important to, and then they talk to uh, professional advisors and some of those advisors are selling a particular product. So that mm -hmm. tells them about, you know, their particular bent to this. I think it's important to explore all these options for your own because there are all financial tools have merit in the right situation. That's Absolutely. the big determination. You got to determine if it works for you. Your brother-in-law who did well with a certain strategy, that may have worked for him because his needs are different than him yours. The needs or the assets may have been different. Right. So they could have been, he, he had more of a reliance of being in the market because he could afford to, to take the hit, had even and, and he could wait for market recovery and, and had income from other sources. Everybody's situation is different. Right. And I'm glad you brought that up, Lou. And, and, but you, you, know, you hear things at cookouts and you hear things at parties and you well, hear things and it's, like it's important to explore for yourself well, how this works on your situation. Well, let me use part of what you just said. Let's assume you were at a, you are at a party and you're not in a particular conversation, but another one, mm -hmm. but you overhear a conversation and someone with a clear, comfortable, relaxed voice, so you realize this person doesn't have to worry, mm -hmm. is telling his conversation mates, you know what? I'm not concerned. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm always of interest what's happening all around me yeah. and what's going on in the economy. But I've got to tell you, I met someone with whom I'm doing some planning, and we would started something a couple of years ago, and my retirement or asset principle is not at risk. Right. And I've got to tell you, Joe and Jim or Fran or whoever's there in the conversation, uh, up to date over the past two years, nearly two years, my account, and I'll soon be locking that in, has nearly um, increased by 30%. Yeah. I just made nearly 30% gains with no risk to my principal. You're at a party. Are you probably going to, you know, like, uh, it, was it E.F. Hutton some years ago? <laughs> That's right. When E.F. Hutton talks, everybody, everybody listens. listens? Yeah. Well, there you are. Aren't you going to probably say, wait a minute. I'm in a dull conversation and but maybe the, move your body over right, to but, the next But group. the advice is still pursue that yourself. Find out on your You're own. Got to, of course. Make of the course. phone call. Talk with, talk with you. 
get the overlay of how this works on your financial situation and what it does for you, what uh, fears it subsides, what uh, needs it addresses. Absolutely. You know, and see how it works for you compared to the path that you're on. You know, it, it is. And then it, make a decision. It is. In fact, we have, in, in fact, some uh, At older, no charge, by the way. At no fee. There's, yeah. there's never a fee for services. And that's why I like to say your local financial practitioner who makes house calls. And again, visit the website, incomeforlifeplanning.com, and you'll learn, because people want to know with whom they they will be either dealing or with whom they may be speaking. And it's very open, and all of my background is there from uh, my background coming from uh, Greek ancestry and uh, <laughs> what I enjoy doing. And you'll even see a photo. I think there's a photo there of Gail and me as well. Um, in any case, you know, the planning we talk about, Lou, I don't say this perhaps often, but it's exactly the same planning, exactly the same strategies that I exercise for my own protection right. and and the safety and financial safety and security of my own family. And having grandchildren, I want to make sure that what we don't use, Gail and I, will will be there for to assist them uh, as a as a foundation for their future. Quite frankly, uh, I I want to I, I mentioned we'd come back and before well you know even before getting to risk, I want to get to something because we can talk about risk and. It, it's it's relative, but I want to speak of something more specific. Right. And because o over the past uh, different programs and over the past couple of weeks, I've been speaking of the traditional long-term care coverage where you pay a premium each year, and for many people it's been increasing, right. and how many people are dropping those pr those programs, the traditional long-term care, because premiums are increasing each year. They're becoming unaffordable, um, and at a time when people are going to need the coverage, it's not going to be there, regrettably, and they may have paid out tens of, uh, or more thousands of dollars in premium, and they never use the coverage, right. and it's gone. Well, I've spoken of the asset-based, and there are different, different um, iterations of it, where, as an example, someone who's 65 takes $100,000, puts it in a separate account, which, by the way, is fully liquid at all times. And overnight, important consideration. Overnight, yeah. that hundred thousand is now worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, in essence, I call it. it you now you put a hundred thousand in, and now you have a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar long term care checkbook to use for assisted living, at home care, or nursing home. And that happens on completion of the deal it's, it's right. in Overnight. place immediately once once yeah. it's accepted and th there's that it's not as rigid as even applying for traditional long-term care mm -hmm. it, again it's an evolution right we talked about evolution right this is an evolutionary program that's now developed and it's it's receiving a lot of not so much a lot of press yet but it is it is receiving a lot of acceptance because in fact Gail and I not too long ago instituted it um, for our the protection of our assets and as at least a base of coverage should we need it in the future and I will be open and share with anyone who says, Steph, you said you did this yourself. Will you show me? Yeah, I have no hesitation of doing so. And we ended up with a joint husband and wife coverage, which yeah. I won't go into the detail of it. So but you're purchasing, you're acquiring 350, in this case, $350,000 mm -hmm. worth of uh, long-term health care insurance yes, without right. a premium. Well, you make a contribution, but yep. it's, it's like having... It's like you have. Let's assume, as an example, and I'm using a hundred thousand, Lou. Yeah. A hundred thousand uh, is set aside. Someone has it. They want to keep it safe and secure. So it's really probably not earning very much, right. if anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they say it's going to be there if I need it to take care of nursing home or assisted living. Well, yeah. assisted living. If you're lucky, we'll give you we'll get you a year and a half with a hundred thousand. Right. And that won't even cover you that amount for one year of nursing home. 
because we've been exploring that on behalf of in-law parents, and uh, yeah. oh, the numbers are staggering, by sure. the way. But in any case, so now you t you take this hundred thousand and you simply put it into another savings account. You're still controlling it. Yep. Okay, but by doing so, you now have max. You've leveraged, and it's going to give you a three a three hundred and fifty percent. Speaking of interest, <laughs> a three hundred and fifty percent return on that money. Should it be needed for long term care uh, issues, assisted living, at home care, or whatever might occur. And if you feel at some point you don't want it anymore, you get your money back. Right. All right, that's not so shabby. Well, wait a minute, Steph. If, and, and not to belabor this because I want to go to another form of long-term care in a moment that we really haven't discussed in a while. But the other question is, okay, I put the 100 in. While I'm alive, I'm, I'm, um, it's liquid. And if I need it, my, my 100 now gives me 350000 I mean, that's pretty significant, Lou, all by itself. Sure. And, well, what if I still have that coverage in force and I die? Well... Your beneficiary or beneficiaries whom you've listed or change or at any time it's under your control mm -hmm. will receive not just the 100000 you put in, but I believe at the example that I've mentioned, will receive close to $150,000 income tax-free. Right for legacy purposes as opposed to a straight insurance deal where if you die without using the long-term coverage that the money premiums, is, it's is gone. burnt it's, it's gone. gone yeah it's like renting an apartment you've had you've had right. your two bedroom unit but you you move or or die and right. The landlord has, it's worked out nicely for the landlord, <laughs> right, yeah. to put it very simply. Uh, speak, and as I like to ahead. point out, that yes. that long-term health care insurance protects that amount of assets because that's one of the big right, the predators spend down. for, uh, that's, that's right. one of the big predators for your other assets. What it also does, it gives you time to do, let me mention this, if you haven't done some planning or done any giving, right. maybe it allows the opportunity to start doing that. It's a good bridge for the look back period. Uh, exactly, yeah. without going into any more detail. Right. So, Lou, I think it's also an appropriate time with everything we've put out there to, to provide our contact information. Warning, just a moment of your time with Steph LeSue on the radio can lead to a happy and sustainable retirement. This is Income for Life Planning with your host, Steph LeSue. Okay. <laughs> Uh, in the in a bit of time that we have left, and by the way, uh, to everyone listening, I do hope and expect that what we bring forward is causing you to think, uh, to not meditate per se. We're not in a yoga class here, but <laughs> just really give thought to what we are discussing, and at least make yourselves or provide since we're providing an opportunity to personalize all of this, that you will seek me out. It's up to you, certainly. Um, and, and why am I continuing at the age that I am? I still have the health, the vitality, and the knowledge. I'm continuing to do what I do because not only do I enjoy it, but we're helping right. a lot of people along the way. So if there's something you can offer, why not continue with that offer? You know, as a doctor who enjoys, a medical doctor who enjoys his practice right. and is still very alert and can contribute, why would that person, male or female, not continue doing so? But, and I like to make this comparison. What's you're that, you're not the kid out of college who's out. He's got to make a sale to, to build what's going on with him. You're, you're past that point. You know? uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, and so I want to just take I want to take a few moments. And by the way, you're enrolled in these programs, so you're taken care of. The, you don't have to worry about this. The uh, well, let me say yeah. it again. The what I discuss and what I profess is exactly the same type of planning, exactly the same strategies that I to very let me add very significantly financially in which Gail and I uh, participate as well. And I don't mean minimally or normally, uh, minimally, if you will. Right. Uh, but in any case, uh, let me discuss another aspect of or another uh, strategy, if you will, for long term care. OK, um, let's assume we have an individual who 
um, uh, can't qualify for long-term care? The traditional or the example we just discussed? Already dealing with a medical issue. Uh, Medic exa yeah. Medical issues, mm -hmm. okay? There is something called a medically underwritten single premium immediate annuity. You don't have to write this down. Yeah. Just listen, please. They couldn't come up with an acronym for that? S -P yeah, SPIA. <laughs> SPIA. SPIA. Yeah, SPIA. Okay. We've got acronyms for yeah, everything, there you go. okay? Yep. All right. And the SPIA is, and this is rather, rather interesting. It's one of the few insurance solutions where it's more advantageous for the applicant to be less healthy. <laughs> Bear with me. Yeah. And, uh, and in uh, immediate need of care, and it can make a finite amount of money last a lifetime. You think some people listening might be I would really so. keying in pretty closely? Absolutely. Wait a minute. I can be unhealthy and qualify for something that's going to give me income, a, 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 a greater income for the rest of my life? It's actually, it's, it's a great solution particularly for people who are in decline and, and will have or, or are anticipating uh, the need for income, yep. if you will, who are in declining health, have not planned ahead for how they will pay, pay for long-term care expenses. They're worried about outliving their savings, okay? And they could not qualify for long-term care because of health issues. And they suddenly, or at some point in the near term, will find themselves in need of care. Again, the single premium immediate annuity, the SPIA to the rescue. Here's how it works. I'll capsulize briefly. We have how, how many minutes left, Lou? About six. Well... It may not do it justice, but at least there'll be enough out there that people will say, maybe in my situation, those person listening, I need to find out more. Yep. Here's how it works. A medically out, uh, underwritten SPIA converts assets into guaranteed monthly income that begins immediately and and is paid for the rest of the, 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 in, the life of the individual. And the income can be used for any purpose, including care, you know, long-term care requirements, medical costs, or living expenses. In other words, someone doesn't have to realize who's in a precarious health position that there's going to be a long-term care outlay in the future. Right. They just may want to increase the income just to live. Okay. Because they are medically underwritten, these type of SPIA accounts typically generate a larger monthly payment than a traditional immediate annuity, quite frankly. Um, because the recipient is less healthy and may need care at the time of, that you purchase this this program. The process works the opposite of life insurance, if you will. Interesting. In that the less healthy you are, the higher the monthly payout you'll get. Well, with the, SP sure. the medically underwritten SPIA, the more unhealthy you are, the greater the payout. Right. Why is the insurance company doing this? Are they generous of heart? No, it's all the it's actuary all, table. It's all the actuary yeah. tables are there. The actuary ta table says the payout is probably less in the long term, so they can do more. They can do more, yeah. exactly. So the purpose of underwriting, this is where actuaries take place, the purpose of underwriting is not to exclude anyone, but rather to determine the amount of income the individual will, will receive based upon his or her age and health. Depending on the carrier, the underwriting process may include a review of medical records, maybe a nurse to come and visit, and lab tests are not required. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Louis, do you think this is helpful for some I, of our listeners? Yes. Okay. Um, and I, I can, can think of people in my own life right okay. now that should be that should be interested in it. medically under i'm glad i brought this forward and yeah. it was kind of an afterthought for today's program medically and i'm guessing a lot of listeners might have parents 
perhaps our elders that might be facing these absolutely types of situations. medically underwritten spias spia may offer additional optional benefits including enhanced death benefits or cost of living adjustments lou I, there's more but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into more detail. Right. The, the point is that this is another option. You know, most people aren't familiar with what options are available right. to them, whether it's to, to develop income for the rest of their life, whether it's to get assets or pr to, to the next generation or to preserve assets during their lifetime. Most people these days are looking at, I got a 401k, what else can I do? That's right. Right? They think that's the, the, the breadth and width of, of retirement planning, By the 401k. Way, since you brought up 401k, let me digress for a moment. Folks, that's been the single premium immediate annuity, SPIA, for um, the individual who has health issues. Right. And you need to increase income. We can, we can work with that, and it's rather unique, so I'm glad I brought it forward. Speaking of 401Ks, let me kind of uh, close out today with those of you with 401Ks uh, that you have had, uh, that you're no longer employed, but the 401K is still there, and you're looking at it and smiling because the value of it has increased. When the market, if you don't do anything with it, and the market corrects going down, you're not going to be smiling. Right. Reach out to me and let's look at securing those values with what we discussed earlier in today's program. Or if you're still employed at least 59 and a half years of age and covered by a 401k, let's look at, we talked about today, options that you have available to secure those assets. Yeah, there's some particularly good, there's a good one that we've talked about repeatedly on the show. If you right. have a 10-year window, if you're sitting in your mid-50s right or now. Or even less. Yeah. Even if you're just a couple of years to retirement and you don't want to, you've heard the horror stories of people with their 401ks yeah. back in 2008 that th the thought that everything was was great and it turned out otherwise reach out to me please 877-720-9500 877-720-9500 don't hesitate to leave a message and of course the website income for life planning Dot com. And if you think you're above help or we can't help, you're wrong. Mm. We'll be able to. So what's your vision for retirement? You've got a canvas. Think <laughs> of yourself as an artist. Yes. And, well, I don't do art. Well, we can paint a canvas depending upon what you want to achieve. Maybe not the best of little sights there. But, but make but sure you have all the colors on your palette. There you are. Yeah. Folks, stay well as healthy as possible. Please, God, protect us, and we'll be with you next week. From the lakes of Minnesota